let's add fuel to the fire. <laughs> no pun intended. I uh, I wasn't even looking for this story. I wasn't even looking for nothing. I was just checking the news. Saying I'll, I'll got a free 20 minutes. I'm going to bust out an episode really quick. And uh, I see this. I just paid five forty nine for diesel, you know, at, what, 34 gallons? Like, I was running on fumes there for a minute. And it's like, man, I can't get away from the pump. It's going to be 150 200 bucks. And then, uh, you know, time to fill up the death tank, you know, throw in another whatever. What's that thing? Seven gallons times. I, Jesus Christ, man. And now we're in a now we're in short supply. How the hell did we get in this position? I want to know. I I am like getting more irritated by the day. Good friend of mine just had a baby and I'm like looking at like baby food shortages I saw somewhere. Gas is crazy high and I know that's partly because of the war, but I also know that gas prices were going up a year since the war started. Like, there's so many issues going on right now. How do we have a diesel fuel supply shortage? Like, we this is our lifeblood. This is, everything gets trucked across the country with diesel fuel, man. Oh, my God. Then it's like, does anyone, does, do people know that a, a lot of people, especially on the East Coast, still use fuel oil to heat their homes? What the hell is going on? Oh, like we were, I mean, I, I didn't go research this stuff. That's not what I do. I, I give insights for 10 minutes and then I go drink coffee. Um, what I don't, what I don't understand is we were draining our strategic reserve to keep gas prices down, right? But at the same time, like the strategic reserve was supposed to be for cases of emergency, such as a war, or maybe another pandemic hits and we're not, you know, we're so sick we can't produce oil or something. So there's something there that the real emergency. I know prices are an emergency, but I don't know if it meant like let's, d during the time of a war, mind you, where we're giving supplies to Ukraine to blow up Russian stuff, you know, that might not come back to, that, to haunt us at some point. During the time of war, why are we draining our strategic reserve? I don't understand. And then I saw the government said they were going to, they, they had a plan to refill it. I just, I'm trying to figure out what the hell we're doing here. And is, is there anybody anywhere that knows what the hell they're, they're, they're going to do to fix this? Or are we just screwed? Like, how did we get in this mess? Here's the line. Diesel fuel in short supply as demand rebounds. I mean, the demand just didn't rebound overnight. People started getting back to normal life towards the end of last summer, right? Um, prices have surged to record levels. Duh. <laughs> I'm paying $5.49 in Michigan. Like, it's just, it's completely crazy. You know, in, inflationary concerns. I mean, what do you think is going to happen when, you know, the rig's got to fill up, probably $1,000, $2,000 to fill their tanks up, to truck all this stuff across the country? What do you think is going to happen? All the, all food prices, your paper towels, your toilet paper, everything's going to go up on top of the inflation we already have. <laughs> Let's not forget about heavy equipment, any type of construction work, all this stuff that's going to go on with diesel fuel is going to get more expensive. The problem is especially acute on the East Coast where prices have become unhinged. I made a comment, I did a video on Instagram, which you can follow me on Instagram at jamesphillip313. That's where I post my writings. Um... When I posted my screenshot of uh, 549 in Michigan, someone in Jersey is like, I just spent six something. I was like, Man, Jesus Christ. You know, I know New Jersey, New York's higher, California's higher. No, obviously, Hawaii's like bonkers. But man, like six something, mid sixes in New Jersey? Dude, that's, you know, how far are we from $7? <laughs> the effect this is going to have on the economy, like, and then there's like the food shortage issue and then a the fertilizer issue. And then when oil prices go up, fertilizer prices go up, and now gas and diesel so expensive, so transportation costs are going up, and then wage inflation's going up. So how do we see inflation getting tamed anytime soon? Do we really think the 50 basis point move by the government is going to fix all this? 
Like the, the trillions of dollars we pumped into the system and a little 50 basis point thing's going to fix it. Like, man, they, these people are out here probably taking, they're popping pills and um, trying trying to run this country right now. I, I, does, the, does the Fed know what the hell they're doing at this point? Have they Have they ever known? It seems like every time we get into a major bubble and a crash, somehow the government has something to do with it. And I feel like we're headed for the mother of all crashes. Man, it's like, did, did, you know, 2008, you at least saw a way out of it. You know, they were going to do this. And think about it. If you look at what Obama spent, what did, and off the top of my head, what they spend, like $800 billion to like do, do stimulus and whatnot? I mean, that was a big number back then. But compared to like six, seven, eight, nine trillion we spent now, that ain't nothing. <laughs> Slow rebuild, but we, re, we re, rebounded. You saw a way out of it. I don't see a way out of this. I keep telling people, like, I don't know where to put money right now. Right now, I'm thinking I'm going to keep buying and building businesses because they keep producing money. <clears throat> Excuse me. World's worst allergies this week. Because trying to put money in equities or the real estate market right now seems like when that stuff crashes, it's going to hurt. Where is the light at the end of the tunnel right now? I just saw Ford's going to offload part of Rivian. You see Netflix crashing. These tech stocks are taking a beating. The index has stayed up because they're so overweight on the big companies who haven't really tanked yet. <laughs> How do we get out of this? Man, not, not something I wanted to see today. I just, if we're now in that short of supply and prices go up, is it 1970s again? I don't know. Drop a comment below.